If you're in the city of Chicago and want to get the best view, the one spot you have to go is the Sky Deck at Willis Tower, formerly known as the Sears Tower. If you feel like seeing a top football prospect that towers over the competition, then head 45 minutes southwest to New Lenox, Illinois. New Lenox is home to Providence Catholic High School and six foot four inch wide receiver Miles Boykin. I'm just a big receiver, likes to go up and get it, you know, try to break tackles and just keep moving downfield. He's 6'4", he's almost 220 pounds, he runs real, real well, but I think, you know, he's got a lot of upside still. He's going to get bigger, he's going to get stronger, and he's going to get faster. Uh, you know, he's got a great catching range, he's a big target, he's got outstanding hands. Uh, he's pretty much, you know, the whole package. You see something special, I mean, I've known him since he was in fifth grade and he's always been a special player. Just his athleticism, his height, strength, and speed is just something that you really don't see too often. It's, it's very special. When you watch Boykin on the field, it's easy to see why he's drawing comparisons to one of the best in the NFL. Yeah, Calvin Johnson, that's why I picked the number 81 to wear. Okay. What do you like about Calvin Johnson? And just how big he is, you know, how physical he is with those cornerbacks and just always going up and getting the ball. He just He's really good at getting off press coverage, very good at going up and get a ball. And he's just his overall quickness and explosion, like, it's. If you throw under throw a ball, he'll go and get it for you. If you throw a little wide, his wingspan, he'll get it for you. Just you have a really wide target with him. You know that, and he's got very reliable hands, so you know that he'll make the catch for you. Playing in the always competitive Chicago Catholic League, Providence has won an impressive nine state championships, and Boykin wants to lead them to number ten. Most people think it's the best in the state of Illinois. I mean, we play against Mount Carmel, St. Rita, Brother Rice, and Loyola. And Last year, well, Mount Carmel won state two years in a row. Loyola's won it, or Loyola was in it for the past two in the last three years. Last year, we made it to the quarterfinals and lost by one, unfortunately, in that game. But hopefully, we can make it back this year in state. I think we're looking pretty good. I mean, we got a few returning starters and uh, we got a good core. Having a star receiver like Boykin creates all kinds of matchup issues for opposing defenses, especially when you don't know where he will line up. Last year, you know, uh, I just played mostly outside and you know, just run a lot of fades, comebacks, and routes like that. But now this year, I'm moving all around, running bubbles and pretty much every other route. So uh, we, we had an offensive change, so it's a spread more this year, so we'll just see. Teams are going to have to double team him, which is going to open up other aspects of the game. But uh, again, he's just he's such a big target. He's someone that teams will have to prepare for, and it's someone that we know we can always go to you know, in a key situation. When Miles arrived at Providence Catholic, his first love was basketball. But as success came on the football field, it was easy to see where his future athletic career would be. I came here as a freshman just playing basketball. You know, I, didn't, I didn't really didn't think I was going to be you know, playing college football. But you know, I came here and just worked hard. And, you know, I just, Sophomore year, I played varsity, and ever since then it just kind of clicked. I mean, he's still a very good basketball player, but uh, he's just got so many more intangibles and gifts on the football field. Uh, you know, very good basketball player, but it's not the basketball Division One schools coming by. You know, it's the football. You can still find Miles on the court for Providence, but make no mistake, football is now his top priority, and he proved that when he made a commitment to the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame.